we're done. 25 past five. Cut it, we've cut some of these down because these are getting laid down first. So I've cut them ready. Got some nice quarry tiles for packing. We're officially ready for the steels. Steels? These are the little that are coming out. You can have a, can have a good look how it's eating now. There you go. This is crap. Right, right. Do you want to film in about yesterday? Um, <laughs> yesterday not much happened. It was raining all day and um, as you can see, if you can see behind me, the scaffold, the front of the scaffold has been taken down. So we lost our shelter, but yeah. obviously brick legs are never satisfied. Obviously there's nothing in the way of our um, footing now. The legs aren't in the... Well, on the concrete. On the concrete, yeah. But four legs on the concrete. But we've not got any shelter anymore. So uh, we had to, um, we just covered up the sand and what have you. And then took off. We just did some uh, other YouTube stuff at home. So today is our only good day, and we are gonna do what we can. Obviously, when we get to when we get closer to it, those lintels are gonna get changed. Yep, yeah, replacements in the in the van. Yep, yeah. and then once all that's done, hopefully we'll have at least some block or block and brickwork ready for slab filling. Yeah, lintels and up to DPC today, hopefully. That's the goal. Somebody's off to Sweden again next week, so it's I'll be um, I'll be attempting this porch solo. Try my best. At least it's only a porch and all the stuff's pretty close. I'll make sure Alex is loading me out before he goes. Yeah. And I'll just take my time. So um. Does he try and guilt trip me with the with, with by snitching on me to the to the viewers? Yeah. He's, he's kind of a Swedish passport. Eventually, he goes there that often. So yeah, it's um, what is it now? It's about three degrees, so we can get started. I've had my coffee. I'm ready to go. So let's get out there and get get organised and get those lintels out. Yes. A uh, quick update. We just spoke to the guy who's doing the lock conversion, and he's he said, feel free to use the skip, which is great for us. So we're actually just getting rid of all this now with his expert stacking skills, as you can see. And then um, we're going to get our scaffold up and get cracking. Is it how wet is up there, Al? Pardon? How wet is it up there? Pretty, pretty damp, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so that's all going to skip now and then we can get cracking. The We're going to stack the tiles against the heads there just in case. No. How far? Was that it? 150? No. Here you go. Just have a look. Again, 70mm seating. Maybe. Try and get in close. I'm guessing 70, 80mm. No, it's 70mm. So, um. We've got to take that out and this, so we can move it further back to get fully onto this. Um, we'll cut this back with the sawzall so we can get at it. Um, take this fillet off and uh, this is doing us a favour. We might just uh, put an extra couple of grabbers in that piece of timber that's going to help us support that brickwork. That's going to do us a favour. And then inside, um, we'll probably just put the strong boys right through, tight against this side and get this side in first. But, um, yeah, you just kind of pick it up as you go along and wing it. Like I say, this wasn't this wasn't part of the plan. This this is a this is an extra because that nib's going. So um, once I'm, my glamorous assistant has done the skip, we'll get a scaffold set up and get some macros in. I'll get this done first.
<laughs> if it don't fit, make it. Perfect. Right, we have a plan. Scaffold set up, dust sheet set up. These are the lintels that's coming out. You can have a, can have a good look how it's eating now. There you go. This is crap. We're going to go back to the edge there. Can't go any further because the steel's there. We can only go up to the steel. We're going to put our acres in this height. We're going to put them in from the back so that he, um, right up to the um, the upstand of the strong boy and that'll give us 40 mil onto this front skin which isn't brilliant but we've got this ball plate here which is bolted into the brickwork which is that's so that's supporting the brickwork and we're just going to put an extra couple of grabbers in it just for extra extra strength and um, might if we can fit it in just put an acro up and grab this with that as you can see something's moved in the past so we've got to be careful with that um, We've got room inside where that ceiling is, where the ceiling is to get rid of this coarse brick. So we're going to prop here, take the lintel out, put the new lintel in a course higher, which will give them a bit more. You can see there's a window above there, so it'll give them a bit more light. So that should be what well, we can. We might as well do it. Be ideal for on that. So yeah, we're going to get um, we're going to place three acros. So we take that brick out, that brick out, and probably that brick out. Um, yeah, maybe yeah, that one. That give us the that goes that way. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking as I'm on the fly here. But yeah, so we need to take three bricks out. Then we can get through to knock the other bricks out the other side. We're going to keep these for patching the holes around the side. They've got a bit of tar on, but a bit of wire brush bring them up nice for patching around this end we did get some more holes which aren't a brilliant match so might as well use the original bricks which would be a lot better that's one of our jobs to do while the scaffold's still up so uh, yeah let's get these out get these grabbers in first and then we can start knocking these bricks out Oh, is that? That would have the power on the uh, rattler too. That's six, that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the WD, mate. Please. They go straight into the brick. No plugs. Okay. Knock the speed up a notch. Again. Just push that page. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Let me close it. Let me draw.
just patching bit to the side. Right, it's a bruiser please. Welcome to that Steve and Alex build where nothing ever goes straight forward. Got our little scaffold all set up and because of where the acros are going, the acros are pretty much going point out there. So we need to get this out of the way, get the acros set up and the strong boys and then put the scaffold back obviously so we can work on it. And by then we'll all be propped up and we can take these lintels out and get the mothers in. Just to get just to get the props in, I've took most of it down. So yeah, you've seen us put the uh, the extra grabbers in that piece of timber. So all the work's being done by the strong boys at the back and that piece of timber. Um, yeah, so let's get this out of the way. Let's get these uh, acros and strong boys up and get... We need to pull our fingers out because we need this in. And we need to get this block work round today. And maybe the face work across the front. Because we need to get this slab done next. I don't think we're here tomorrow because of bad weather and snow. We're doing another job tomorrow where we're not allowed to film. And then back here as soon as we can. Hopefully we'll be able to work over the weekend with your mum being away from Monday. So uh, yeah, catch you in a bit. Right, Jeremy's on, so it's ten past twelve, which is a bit disheartening. But um we're propped, acros are back in, strong boys are in, as you can see they come through through that skin onto this skin, just catch it, got the packers in to make sure it's tight, bit of slate there so we're going to have to have a bed, big bed above here, but at these, all we're going to lose is these three if they go, but there's no sign of that cracking at all, so um, we can now get the, the saws all straight through here, straight through there and this, we can drop this straight out and then same with the back one drop that out and the way it is now we've got a nice nice steady scaffold the, the acros and strong boys are way out behind where we're working and we just put the little straight up to this up right here so um hopefully the, re the reinstall will be go a bit quicker alex has got the lintels down there marked up ready to be cut one's going to be longer than the other because this one's going to sit on 150 whereas the back one's going to sit on 100 or is it? Yeah, because it's it because it goes flat push back to the wall. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so um shall I cut these out now or have dinner? Let's get the lintels out then have dinner. Okay.
Here comes my boy. He's just uh, turn the radio off so we can have a good chat. There you go. It's done. That was hard. That was hard. Even the aqua's weren't in our way. And um, you can't cover the bloody door up because there's no physical way of doing it. There's the steels that are holding the front of the house up. Nice rusty steels, but only surface rust. There's no jacking going on there. Yeah, it's a trunking for the cables. That'll probably get plastered in the ceiling. But yeah, so this is completely loose now. I won't wobble it. <laughs> but it's extra heavy because they're very wide. Very wide. So um, let's get this thing out while it's all propped up, have a quick lunch and then um, start thinking about putting it all back together again. We just need to do our saw cut there. And I think, actually I'll, we'll keep this in for leaning this. Yeah. Can't, the the lint on to lift it in. Yeah, we just need to cut back the pocket far enough. So we've got the 150 past the pencil line for the front one. And like I said, the second one just sits onto that four and a half. Um, yeah, so we'll get this out. Um, go for some lunch. It's it's very tempting because where that thirty mile now sign is, it's about fifty yards to the spa. That way, you could probably you can probably smell it from here. <laughs> right, let's get some live action. Make it a bit more interesting. You got it? Yeah. You're right there. Yeah, it's on my shoulder. Right. Okay. I don't want to get that way. I'm going to stick the camera. I'll let, 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 no, let it go on the wall. I'm going to be in position. Okay. You okay. get it? Yeah. Yeah. As the great Fred Dimden once said, done for. I was going to keep them, reuse them, but I'm not going to skip. I am not pumping them round and storing them in the garage. They're, they're ridiculously heavy. So obviously we. This nib's to come out now, and we've got to span it. And we'll also put sit. We'll sit on this 100 mil, not 70. The paving slab is a what a uh, headstone there for the steel. So I suppose it's um it's um very compact concrete, isn't it? So yeah, twist it back in. Always a pain when you twist. But it's been there 60 years, so right, I'm going to clean this a little bit off and then get out of here.
Right, just after two, way behind as usual. We'll pull it back because we're going to have to pull it back. We've got to our fire till it goes dark anyway. So anyway, moved all the crap off the concrete because it's two jobs to do. We've got this to do. We've got that to do. That shouldn't actually take long. The first lintel I broke up and just chucked it in the skip. It's a funny shape to, to build this. We've got we've got the the lean to bit of the sticks out, obviously with the steels over to the main building. Then you've got the main building, and then it steps back to the, the door. So you've got that, you got that, you got that, and you got that. So what do you work off? Um what we've decided to go with is the easiest one to work out and that's parallel off the front door so that when you when you're inside the porch the um, front to back will be square and then we'll just square it as best we can this way so we're going to parallel off that that plinth underneath the door so what I've done is I've measured that measurement there to that corner which is something 82 One one eight two, and then I've just delayed it by a bit. One one eight five. So that still needs budging back a touch. Just have a little micro adjuster there, so you can adjust it backwards and forwards. Let's try that again. Hopefully we'll be. I think I had that already, but check six times, build it once. So we're down to 80, 86, 82. So we're st within, within three mil. So I'll just get, I'll just, I'll just start over again. You see where I started? I started at this line, which is here, that X. See the little plum, the plum spot, plum dot. So we've moved over that far to just try and bring it back in to square up. That's just nip for a drink and he's got a mix on. So now we've got a mix on we can do this and we can do this at the same time and uh, get this all stripped down so the customers get in, get in and out of their house. I think they might have to go around the back tonight because obviously the brickwork's going to be wet and that's going to get destroyed if they try to stand out. Can't put a plank across that. So yeah, I'll finish doing this little bit and I'll get my measurements done and then, ah there he is. Oh. What a hero. Got me a cheeky monkey latte. That's my boy. He's being extra nice because he's going to Sweden next week. He's trying to keep me on his good side. Cheers, thank you very much. Cheers, be quick. Oh, I'll find that mark. So basically I'm transferring the laser level down. So I'll cheat now because I've already got the mark. Here you go. Get in plump. That's the laser just on the side of the level. So then we mark it down to the concrete. Like that. So that's the equal to that now. So now we can do an equal measurement from there to there. And then um, what I think we'll do is get some brick and work out our brick bond. And he did say as big as possible but keep keep it brick bond obviously to make it easier for us so we'll work the we'll probably work the largest side to work brick and then the smaller side that goes into the render we'll have a piece this side's going to be seen more as you're going past here but that side's just like tucked away around by the window it's always worth to bury the piece and then width wise same again we fix there by the the internal where the lazy you can see on the corner that internal is going to run through flush and here we go as close over to the gully as we can, which is that pencil mark. So we just need to get a few bricks and work it out from there. But we've got all our marks. We can leave that for now and um, concentrate on this. And once the lintels are up and I'm start fettling them, Alex can start getting some brick over and we can start working the bond out. The important thing is um, get the get the block work up and the brickwork across the door. We need to concentrate on the lintels now. Then the lintels, we get the lintels up and the scaffold down, then we can get on this. At least when we get on this, the two of us can work on it. So yeah, there we go. I'll just check the levels now and then um, we can get, get on with this lot. Right, 
Well, Custom's made a beautiful job of that concrete because it's there's five mil in it. The only downside for us is it's it's imperial gauge because the house break imperial. Um, because this is the only part where the brickwork touches the house, right on the corner there. I've gone for um, metric. Same brick as them, but metric. And the reason I've gone for the metric is simply because the tie wires. The tie wires, you can't get them wrong. The tie wires work, you're not messing about. It's a better job and it's quicker. So um, obviously the render side, doesn't matter about that, but about the bond and the, the gauge, there's nothing. I mean, even if you didn't like it, you could always put a strip of timber up there and hide it. But it's, you know, it's not, it's not a big deal. If we're toothing in then yeah, but because we're not toothing in, it doesn't matter. So what that means is the bottom course now, I'm just going to get a couple of blocks and cut them straight down the middle lengthways and so you'll have a, a 115 by 100 block. So put the first course round in them and then it's three course of face brick then up to DPC. Got me measurements marked on the corner there, on the paver there, on the wall there and on the wall there. So that's it, we're ready to go, we just need to trace the bond out, decide on the projection. But everything's there ready to go, the measurements are all ready to work off. We just need to get back into it now. Um, yeah, I need to get up there and make sure the hole's big enough for the lintel. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, catch you in a bit. We're officially ready for the steels. Steels? We're officially ready for the lintels. Unfortunately, it is, uh, I think, about quarter past three now. Twenty past three. It was very, very awkward. And I, I knock on wood, it still might be yet. Still gotta get two heavy lintels in. I reckon we get the hop up, get them on the hop up, get them halfway and then we'll lift them in then. On a single hop up, do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that. I think that's probably going to be at the same weight as that. Not far off it. Well, I was able to lift that, so I don't think it's going to be as bad. Uh, we're getting the lintels up dry and then we're going to prop them, pack them and put them in position. Rather than trying to put them as, as soft. Bed. We've got plenty of tiles and stuff to pack them up with. What's your plan? You're gonna like lift it up and flip it up. So I'm thinking, yeah, which side which side you want going down? Smooth side or um yeah. Smooth side up or down? It doesn't make any difference because they like those lintels, they've got these, these three fours at the bottom. There's a speed of space, so there's no top over.
it with. And now I can play with it and jock it and you know. That's back to you, doesn't it? Well, we'll, we'll do that when we lift it and put some bricks under it. Yeah, so we need to put some motion back of it. Leave a good gap around the um, piece so we can get the marks that we twist on it. There it was. Oh, How are they? <laughs> Red. Lintel's in position, just wedged in dry at the moment with the brick on edge. Thank you. Got some nice quarry tiles for packing. And now she's going to go and cut a, a block down lengthways, so we've got an 18 inch piece of block to go with here. You can bed it under, pack it underneath, and pack it on top so it's solid. Well, that was uh, a, a tad more awkward than we thought it was going to be. Although, to be honest, I, I don't, I don't see how we expected to do two lintels in half a day, Dad. Right. On the on hindsight, I, I don't get why we thought we could do two concrete lintels in half a day. Well, it's supposed to be a full day, wasn't it? <laughs> there you go. That's uh, one of the really fiddly but most important jobs out of the way. That's both lintels going in, going in, in and across and on better seating than the last ones because obviously they were on like 50-70 now they're on a nice solid 100 each side. Oh <sighs> yeah that was um that was that was a trial. So obviously we're leaving the brickwork today. I've um I think what Dad said is we're cutting. We've cut some of these down because these are getting laid down first. So I've cut them ready, and they're going to go as the bottom course. And then obviously we will set out from that. But yeah, so Dad's just going to get that. He's getting it packed up right now, so we're just going to get it pointed up and strong. And I just need a couple of pieces of bare tile. No bed on. I will, I will find you some.
しぶりなんですよね。Oh. Oh. 25 past 5. Well, we got it done and it's been done properly. I'll, show, I'll pass, it, pass this to you, Dan. You show how packed up it is. Okay. Yeah, we're all packed up. Those bricks dropped, so there's a little hairline crack in them, but the, uh, they're going to be inside the roof space. So they're fine. Because they're going to be a hit roof going on here, it's going to be a pipe going up. So a lot of these cracks are going to be covered as well. Uh, when we come back to the porch, when we're up on the scaffolding, I'm going to get this little crack pointed. Um, it's all, all full. Also inside, solid. There's the original cavity tray above there. It's all in. It's all packed up with um, koi tiles. Even got the end. And it's half past five. Jeez, that was a slog. But like I said to Alex, we could have done it quicker. But we don't cut corners, we do it properly. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to get tidied up now. I'm not going to show you the front door because I'll get roasted for not covering it. We couldn't cover it because there's no way of fixing the um, sheet because it's all solid glass right to the top. And um, the two guys are working here in and out. So it was just in their way so it's just a bit of extra tidying up for us so um, yeah. with the help of our, of our Milwaukee torches handy it's also um, magnetic so yeah we're done are you doing the outro? yep just shine the light on me and I'll do it point it at me and shine the light on me Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe. Hang on, hang on. There you go. How do I look? Scary. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Uh, if, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and tap on the bell. That way you'll always know when we <coughs> upload. For massive help and we appreciate the support. Any extra support you would wish to give, there's the super thanks under the video or dad's paypal in the link not necessary by any means but very very greatly appreciated the support for the channel is immense and we really appreciate you all this has been Rick Clean with Steve and Angelic Alex and we will see you in the next one